along to another video it's a quick one it's going to be the best mod you can do for a zebra billy cam everybody knows if you've got one floppy handle syndrome lid falls out you lose your dinner quick simple mod with a couple of little bits means you don't get a floppy handle you can lock the lid on packs away without the addition of a bulky metal handle on the side. Let's get into it. I didn't mean to drop that. So the first few tools we'll need, we need a pair of pliers, little file if you've got one, a pair of wire cutters, a little bit of sandpaper to deburr, I've got a rat tail file, something you can use as a punch, some uh, brake cable off a bike, some two millimeter internal diameter brass dowel or tube should I say. You might want a, a different set of pliers, trusty hammer, a hacksaw, or in my case, angle grinder with a metal cut-off disc. And a steer device or somewhere to hold it secure. Before we get stuck into it, we'll have a look at the basic Billy cam. You can buy or make little metal clips that hold the lid on so it doesn't fall over and keeps your handle straight because it does come with plastic ones anybody who's done any bushcrafting or a lot of camping should know about these they're affordable you can buy them anyway you can get them off ebay off any sites just search uh, zebra stainless steel billy can they come in different sizes and they come with a in little internal tray which i believe is for steaming but i've always used it as a little plate i've taken it out and uh, they're pretty simple, stainless steel, pretty tough, they're not going to go anywhere. A simple modification, it's not mine by any means, there's plenty of videos online, but it's the best one I think for securing your lid. Also giving you the same sort of handle and also what I like because I like everything to pack down is it folds down out of the way so all you've got is your barrel shaped tin as opposed to the big handle that sticks out and when you try and put it in things or move it around it just takes up that little bit of extra space so what I'm going to do is take this standard billy and turn it into the modded Ultra Zebra. So what we need to do is grind off these two pins that hold the handle.
So we've got our pins out, freeze up these two holes at either side, these little ears, we feed our wire through, make our bale handle, and then we're done. First, we'll cut a couple of centimetres of brass rod. Sandpaper, barely outside. A little bit of something that can help is if you just make your patch a little bit oval, which your vice is great for, it lets your wires go in a little bit easier. Right, this bit's dead simple. Take the end of our bicycle brake cable wire, pass it through the slightly oval. What is now our brass crimp. Pass it through the side loops, back on itself into the loop. Like so, give it a wriggle. I don't want any of that sharp end just poking out because we all know what brake cables are like as a kid. They start to spray on the end, and before they know it, they're under your thumbnail. So I'll pull it back. See the loops, I want them to be fairly tight, about up to the root, the top of the lid. So if we get the lid, right on there. this is a slightly smaller can, so I'll pot. This one's got a little bit tighter. So there, I'm not far off the edge of the lip there, and that'll give me a nice lock I think. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure this tail end's tucked away. And I'll just give it a quick push together with the wire cutters just to lock the crimp in, top and bottom. I'll take it to the vise and crimp it up fully in a minute. So it's super simple now to repeat the process on the other side. All we'll do is we'll cut this cable to the length we want it. We'll feed it through. He says. size, sort that out in a minute, feed it through, see what handle size we want. I want to be able to fold this handle over and it just be sitting on the edge of the rim. So for me that needs tightening up. Totally personal preference if you want it tighter. Set our distance. Perfect. That's our distance. I'll just make it a little bit shorter because I'm going to pull this tail end through. Take the wire snips. Snip it, snip it nice and close. Beautiful. Let's set those crimps.
there we have it super simple lids on your pot a bit of baking multifunctional zebra billy mod the best there is fold it down low profile arguably one of the most simple but best mods there we have it now dead simple mod really cheap I'll leave links to the brake cables and the tubing for eBay links if you're in the UK these are where I got them from I think it's a no-brainer when it comes to a modification like this you don't lose any benefits you only gain some so give it a go if you like the video please check out some of my other ones and if you feel like subscribing that'd be appreciated because there's some more to come so if you want to check out some more videos you might want to look here and here and if you want to subscribe there should be something on my face <laughs>